Hi everyone. I'm sorry, I haven't posted in literally four months. Like, who does that? Just me, I know. Anyways, I am happy, happy, happy to be back. I honestly missed this. Like, I miss it so much. You know, sometimes your priorities have to come first, and for me, it was school. I am happy to say that I am finally done with college. I, am, I wanted to start showing you a simple Christmassy holiday makeup look. Um, I know we're in the month of December. Keep it as simple as possible for those of you who are not really into makeup that much but want to get an idea of how to do something. So I'm going to be showing every single product that I will use. Um, high end low end for this video so yeah let's get into the into it okay here i'm using my primer by nika k 24k gold primer this is honestly one of my favorite ones um next is my eyebrows i'm using anastasia beverly hills brow powder in soft brown and yep make sure you brush them and fill them in. I actually skipped doing my my other eyebrow. I don't know why, because that's my actual good eyebrow. This one is not so good. I can never to get it to look perfect. And then here I'm taking my concealer and just cleaning it up a little bit so it doesn't look too messy or bushy, even though I haven't really done them in a couple weeks, but it helps to clean them a little bit. Same thing with the other eyebrow. And don't mind me smiling or laughing. I'm watching Fuller House on Netflix. And here I'm using one of my favorite brushes at the moment to blend out the concealer. And I'm also using my concealer as a primer. This is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer, by the way but you can use anything, any concealer or an actual eyebrow primer. Here I'm using my Morphe palette. Excuse the dirtiness of it, but as you know, these palettes tend to get dirty, especially because they're black. And here I'm just blending in that shadow, doing windshield wiper, viper, what is the word? Motion, and making sure it's blended nicely. You're gonna do that with the other eye as well. And just keep blending until you get a perfect shade, whatever color you like. Here I'm grabbing an even darker shade on the outer part of my eye lid. <laughs> and just keep it blending. Um, I know I said it was going to be simple, but it is simple. It just came out a little darker than I wanted to, but it is what it is. Here I'm going to use that on my lower lid. Not my lower lid, the lower part of my lid. Is that what it means? And just kind of lighten it or brighten it up a little bit so we have... A base for our next color you can do that on both eyes of course here you wet a brush so it picks up the glitter or shimmery color better and you just start placing it on top like that both eyes like I said this is super simple uh, makeup look and Morphe I feel like are the best palettes for beginners or for anyone for that matter but they are super easy to blend and they're really, really good quality product and also very, very affordable. And you just keep applying and then I use that darker shimmer shade or pressed pigment. I never know the difference, don't mind me. And just put it on the outer corner if you don't want it to look, you know, just the one lid. Here I'm using my Henry and something else, lip, I mean, eyeliner to line my eyes. Obviously, that's what's called eyeliner. And I do apply lashes, but I didn't get it on camera because my husband called me at the time and he was interrupting my video. Here I'm using my Too Faced Peach. I forgot what I said. Peach. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. I'm sorry. And just using my um, foundation brush. I honestly love this foundation so much, but Too Faced is a little bit too controversial for me. So I don't know if I'll be purchasing it again, but it's honestly one of my favorites, which is kind of sad because they've done shady things. 
that's the Fenty concealer all over my under I honestly really like this concealer even though it tends to crease um, it still looks and it blends out really nicely and it is very long lasting but it does crease a little bit um, yeah and I'm using my kiss contour kit with my in gold brush These brushes are also from Morphe, by the way. There's my Becca Loose Powder. I'm um, baking my face. I love this powder, but it's very powdery. <laughs> and then here, just buffing it out. I tend not to leave it in for that long because if sometimes it cakes up. Here I'm using, as I said, the same color as I have on my lid. I'm using it on my lower lid or on my waterline. Just so it can give a little bit more dimension to the look. And then I'm using my Cai Para Mi blush. You guys know I love this blush. And also using my Morphe brushes. That one is my highlighter Rodeo Drive by Ofra Cosmetics. Favorite highlighter of all time. Got it in my boxy charm, like two, three years ago, and I've never stopped ever since. Here I'm doing my waterline with my eyeliner, and putting some of that Super Ego mascara by Tarte setting spray. I love my little fan because it just dries it up super quick. And here is the finished look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a little bit and I will see you guys later. Bye.